her salutation rang in the ears of Elizabeth that the babe, the unborn John the Baptist, leaped in her womb. Can you imagine the unborn Jesus coming in contact with the unborn John? And just the voice of Mary to Elizabeth called John the Baptist to get happy in the womb. And you gonna tell me that I don't have a right to shout? My God, contact with Jesus. <laughs> oh, glory. The babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth, the Mary of John the Baptist, was filled with the Holy Ghost. And then even John came out full of the Holy Ghost. My, 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 my. I'll just throw this in here because somebody, well, I thought the Holy Ghost didn't come to the day of Pentecost. The baptismal measure didn't come till the day of Pentecost. Uh, Elizabeth and John the Baptist, the baby, were full of the Holy Ghost before Pentecost, but they didn't have it in the way that it make them speak with tongues. I just thought I'd throw that in to answer somebody's question. So here is the man you're talking about. You get into the first chapter of John, and it talks about John the Baptist. Glory to God. Get over into the third chapter of Malachi. It opens up talking about, Behold, I send my messenger. And then you go into Isaiah chapter 40, and it talks about a voice crying in the wilderness. And John let the people know who came to ask him, Who are you? Are you the Christ? No. Well, are you that prophet? And the word that prophet refers to what Moses said when he said, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your own brethren, and him you'll hear in all things. So they were looking for that prophet. John said, No, I'm not that prophet. Hallelujah. Jesus was that prophet. But John the Baptist, hallelujah, was spoken of in all of these scriptures. Not by name, but as the voice, as the messenger, as the forerunner. And here is a man that had the job of introducing Jesus to the world. But in his despair, in his discouragement, sitting in a prison cell, hearing about all of the works of God, he sent two of his disciples, go find him. Ask him for me. Are you really the one? Did I make a mistake? Am I a false prophet? Have I been preaching the wrong thing? Art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? And look at Jesus' answer. Hallelujah. Verse 21. And in the same hour, what did Jesus do? He didn't answer him by words. He answered them by deed. He cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits. And unto many that were blind, he gave sight. Then Jesus answered and said unto them, Go your way. Tell John what things you have seen and heard. Hallelujah. Well, what did we see in here? How that the blind see, the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. Hallelujah. Under the poor, the gospel is preached. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. In other words, Jesus said, tell John that everything I said is coming to pass. It may not be happening to him, but it's happening. Oh, I don't think you got that. Reach over and tell somebody, you may not have your miracle yet, but he's still working miracles. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you lose faith. Don't you lose hope simply because your blessing has not come. You may be so blind, they use the word blind as a bat. You may not be able to even see light. You may not even know, hallelujah, whether the lights are on or off. But I want you to know he's still open. 
open the eyes of the blind. You may not be able to hear even with your hearing aid turned up full volume, but I want you to know he's still unstopping deaf ears. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter how many problems you've got and how you can't see your way out, but I want you to know he's still solving problems. Whatever your need may be, he's still meeting the needs of his people. And I just want to tell you, there's no need. Sit down, y'all. No need in looking for another. Get away from your tummy. Hey, you know, as an ethnic community, African Americans, that this Christianity has failed us. Now we've got to try uh, Islam. We've got to try something else. Uh, maybe we ought to put down religion altogether. Honey, listen. Many times, right when you get ready to quit, you are that far from your miracle. You, you had just come to the door and you let